Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Uh, I am Janice Thornton, online personal trainer, and I've had a lot of people lately ask me like, you know, what do you do? How, how do you actually stay so fit? And besides the exercise, and I wanted to give you guys some tips today on things that you can do that will help you stay more fit. Hey Jerry, I'm thank you for getting on. I appreciate that very much. So my first tip for you is to make sure that you actually enjoy food. It's important that you do like to enjoy food that, and that you eat real food. Don't just be eating you know, the processed foods and that's what we definitely wanna stay away from. Hey Tracy, great to have you on, I appreciate it. You know, so a lot of people, and I do this myself, I need to find new recipes to try. I try new ingredients or, um, you know, just try just something, a totally different dish. Give it a whirl. Hey Kelly, thanks for getting on. Uh, but definitely try some different foods that you haven't tried before because it, A, it just kind of gets you something different and exciting to try, but it also just kind of challenges your palate and that's always fun when we do that. Okay, the second thing that I want, the second tip I want to give you is the fact that you should just stay active. Obviously, I'm big on working out three to five days a week. However, I think a lot of people, they will stop right there. So it's important that you also stay active during the day, whether that is parking your car farther away, that you take the stairs, um, any chance that you get. Um, take your kids for a walk. It's amazing when you get your kids involved with exercise, how much more exercise becomes easier to be coming into your life. David Rose, hello, it is great to have you on today. Okay, my third tip for you today is to add fiber into your diet. And there are so many people who forget to add fiber into your diet and it is so easy to do. So the first thing you can do is do the whole grains, do nuts and seeds, uh, make sure that when you eat the vegetables, eat the skins of the vegetables because that is where you get um, a lot of the, you get your fiber from. And then of course have beans and lentils into added into your diet as well. Okay, the fourth one, this one is the biggest one and this one's actually the easiest to do, I think, and that is to avoid processed foods. And when you go to the grocery store, remember everything at the grocery store <laughs> All the real food is on the outside. Anytime you start going into the inside of the aisles, that is where you start getting into all the processed foods. And that is what you definitely want to stay away from. And when you start filling your cart with all the outside stuff anyway, really it's so much easier to cook when you are picking out the lean meats and the fruits and the vegetables and that's what you make your meals of it is actually easier to do, um, I promise you. So avoid the processed foods as much as you can, and I promise you also your body's gonna feel so much better. Oh, Kelly, yes, I love that. Walking the golf course absolutely <laughs> does help you stay active during the day. I love it. Um, tip number five, eat out less often. And sometimes this is hard, especially if you have a job where you it's harder to bring your lunch, but anytime that you can take your lunch to work, obviously you're going to save some money when you do that. Um, but the other thing you're gonna do is you know what's going into your foods. And that is what you definitely want to do, is know what the heck is going into your foods. And especially when you're eating a lot of fast foods, I hate to tell you gang, but try to at least pick some healthier options when you go to the fast food restaurants or be really choosy on which quote unquote fast foods that you go to. Um, Cheryl, ooh, I don't like that one. I'm sorry that you don't like that one. Hate to say it, but uh, when it comes to trying to stay fit, staying away from the fast foods as much as you can is a good thing. Um, so cooking from scratch is the sixth tip. And for me, I'm not the world's biggest cook. I'm gonna tell you that right now. That's not my thing. And for me, I just am all about keeping everything super simple when it comes to cooking. And literally it is grilling, baking, uh, any kind of lean meats. Um, and I try to do some kind of vegetables, whether I'm roasting vegetables, grilling the vegetables, uh, whatever that is, I just keep things really simple. I use small plates when we eat 
and that way the smaller the plate the better because then you actually trick your mind into thinking that you're full um, when you've all only had one serving and that's what we typically want anyway um, okay tip number seven I've got two more tips tip number seven is to drink lots of water I know you all have heard that one 8,000 times however it does help you stay more fit when you do drink lots of water and the easiest thing to do is to make a big jar of water and put, keep it in your refrigerator. Put lemons and limes and different kinds of fruits in there so you get this awesome tasting water that you do get to drink. Um, and if some of you wanna know what kind of electrolytes that I love to use, comment below and I will get back to you with that as well. But I do like to use electrolytes in my water, but I also like to do healthier ones as well. If you're drinking the Gatorades and the Powerades and things like that, I hate to tell you, those are loaded with um, preservatives. They've got a lot of um, sugars, extra sugars in there, and they've got a lot of artificial ingredients. So if you would like to get away from that kind of thing, which I hope all of you would, contact me, comment below or message me so I can get you that information for sure. The last one, I've already kind of touched on this one, is don't spend too much time in the kitchen. Let, allow yourself, again, keep everything simple. And then when you're making your meals, make so, sure that you have leftovers for lunch so you can take that with you to uh, work the next day or if you were, I work from home so that I can eat that the next day. But again, keep it simple. Come up with a few meals for the week and I promise you it will make your life so much easier. So I hope you enjoyed these tips. Thank you all for, I didn't catch everyone who got on. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And everyone have an awesome day. Thanks.